Hi. Okay. So I want to show you how to um, make some changes to uh, your site on the web page, um, which most of us need to do, <laughs> including myself. So um, there are three things that you really need to know in order to make this work. Number one is how to upload pictures. Number two is how to upload a um, a files, attachments, uh, documents. And then the other thing, finally, the third thing is to learn how to insert both of those things and then how to kind of play around and make them look nice. Um, so let's get started. All right, so I want to show you some examples um, using a couple of sports pages. We'll begin with the middle school cross country because I want to show you something that Anita did. Okay. <clears throat> so when Anita shared her information with me, and because her schedule is a little bit shorter, I think it's maybe easier to do it this way, but she put all of her information, her contact information, um, anything that her students need to know, and then their schedule, she put all that into one image file. Okay, and that way I was able to upload the image and share the image on the page. I'm gonna show you how I did that, okay? So, I am on the middle school cross country page. I'm going to go, I'm logged in. I'm going to select, I'm gonna to toggle on design mode. Now that allows you to change any windows. This page only has one content window, okay? To edit it, I'm gonna select this blue pencil tool. And now I'm inside and I can start playing with it. Um, the nice thing about having everything on this one image is that I don't really have to make any adjustments because it's already like set up the way I like it. The only thing I did have to do um, for Anita, because her picture was quite large, once I uploaded it, I just had to highlight it and then I had to grab it and shrink it just a little bit so that the whole thing would be on the screen. Um, but other than that, I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so to upload a picture, you go to the image um, uh, graphic. Now you can see there are also there are already lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures on our website. Um, so you will be adding more, and you can see some of, some people have started uh, creating their own folders, which might be something you're interested in doing, um, just to have some kind of organization, be able to find your stuff. But um, so I recommend doing that. I mean, I also recommend uh, using a standard naming convention when you save your files so that when you upload them anywhere, you can find them. Um, I try to get my students to do that all the time. Okay, so I'm going to upload a picture. And then I'm going to select a picture. This is just like anything else we've done. I currently am in middle school cheer, so I need to go into my pictures. Now see how I labeled this as the sport, what it is in the year, middle school cross country schedule year. And I would open it. Now it's already in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select overwrite if file exists. And then I need to select upload. Okay, so now it's in this library. But so, so we have to find it. Now this is where it makes sense why I say to name it a certain way, because if you have something like this, um, it's it, you're, you have to remember what it is. I, it's just easier this way. Okay, so um, let's go to the next page and we'll go into the M's. Middle school. I'm gonna open this up a little bit just so I can see the entire name. But I remember I'm in middle school, cross country schedule 21. That's what I want, perfect. Now, you have to do one more thing before you can insert it, okay? Go to properties. Inside the property, this metadata field, alt text, will be blank. What that is, is, I think, alternative text so that people who are visually impaired, as they're scrolling through the site, if they were to scroll over your image, it would tell them what it is they're, that's on screen. So I wrote middle school cross country, I think information, 
Yeah. Okay, I put just put that there. And then I select insert. Okay, so now it's going, I'm gonna show you again how I did the resizing. So I added the original file, which if you were to publish the way it is, and you can see if you get out of design mode, you can see it's just a little too big, so it gets cut off. So I'm gonna to toggle on design mode. Select the editor, select the image, grab it from a corner, and just shrink it down to the size that I want. That's a little bit stretched out. Or compressed. All right, that's what I like. So that looks good. Everything is on screen and publish. Toggle off of design mode so I can see what it looks like. And the information is here. All right, so that was uploading uh, a picture. Um, if your information, if you know your information is gonna say stay stagnant throughout the the year, or at least throughout the season, you might want to put everything onto an image and then just upload the image itself. It makes things a lot easier on this end because this is not an easy program to manipulate. Um, so if you have a, like an editing system that you prefer, uh, for instance, um, or graphic editing. So for instance, I really enjoy the program Canva. So I could go into Canva, create something, download it all, have all of my information in it, download it as a, a JPEG, upload it into here and stick it on. Um, and the reason why I say to do that with if your information is stagnant is because now if she needs to go in and change something, she would have to go and change that image and then upload the image itself, unless you had like a updates inform like a uh, section on the bottom maybe or on top so that's how you do pictures all right um let's now go to middle school cheerleading okay so i did something a little bit different with this um because uh when i received the information it was from miss McHouston and it was three separate um document files Okay, um, one of them had this information, her roster, one of them had a cheerleading handbook, and one of them had a schedule. Um, and this is how I put it on, and I'm going to show you how I did it, okay? So for the, um, the roster and the information, I just copied her document. And then when I was, as I was in design mode, and you can see your content page, I just pasted it in. It's not clean, okay? Um, the pasting, it'll, it ends up, the formatting gets all messed up. And so I had to kind of play around with it to make it look a little bit better. Um, so it's not, this isn't the most ideal uh, way to, to move information over, but it can be done. Um, so just copy, paste it in. Now for the handbook and the team schedule, I didn't think I would paste that in just because they are a little bit longer. And I feel like that's something that the um, your user can just click on and then get to that information. So to do that, I had to upload documents. One more um, caveat, I converted the um, documents to PDFs so that I, to me, I think PDFs are just a little more universal um, to ensure that anybody who opens up the file is going to be able to read it. I put it in PDFs. So um, if you don't know how to save your documents as PDF, let me know and I can show you. But I went ahead and put these in as PDF. Okay, so how I did this was it's basically just like how you would ever link um, and attach anything, right? So I wrote out my text. So it's in here and it, like, let's see, you can play around in here. It's just not easy. But type in my text, I highlight it. I go to the document manager. 
I would upload it the same way that I uploaded the picture. I've already uploaded it. Um, and again, I used that naming convention, middle school cheer handbook date. I select it. Now, the link text is the text that I typed in. If you, if I hadn't typed anything, it was going to ask me what my link text is. And that's where I could write middle school cheerleading handbook if I wanted to. The tooltip is kind of like the alternative um, alt text tool or field in your pictures. Um, it has You have to add something or it won't let you save it. So for the tooltip, I can just put middle school cheerleading handbook and then insert and so now when somebody is in the page they can click on that and open in a separate window the um, handbook of course i've already done that so i'm going to go ahead and delete it that's how you add documents so now we've added, oh, before I do anything, I'm just going to go ahead and push publish, toggle off design, make sure I like the way it looks. Now, Veronica might want to come in here and add some pictures and things like that. That's, you know, stuff you can do. Um, so yeah, I've showed you how to upload pictures. I've showed you how to upload a document and I've showed you how to somewhat manipulate your page contents. Um, yeah. If you have questions, let me know.